Well, Barca Innovation Hub, it's a, it's a platform that we want to use to be able to, to be in the forefront of the sport uh, world. Barca has to be always in a position to win. That's, it's, it's mandatory for us to be in a position to win. And the only way to be in a position to win is to be upgrading ourselves in any and anything. So this means acquire knowledge, wherever it is. If there is anything in the world that we don't have, we need to go there and get that knowledge or generate the knowledge ourselves when we don't find it disseminate it and share it with other entities, and last, if possible, transfer it to innovation. So what we want to do is to create an ecosystem that we will be able to uh, relate with other partners that can be universities, technological centers, um, and, and uh, other any partner that we can do, uh, combine uh, knowledge, a generation of knowledge, dissemination of technology. It's the only way we know that we will be able to, to be uh, in the forefront of the world sport. Well, the ecosystem of Barts Innovation Hub, what we, in fact, we are doing is to put order in something we were doing already spontaneously. We have been for years being doing research and innovation in areas like medicine, uh, uh, sport medicine, uh, uh, performance, and, and sport analytics and sport. But what we want to do now is to make a qualitative and quantitative jump uh, with incorporation of other partners, of other allies. So we will take advantage of the combined uh, knowledge from these, uh, these kind of partnerships. And with this, uh, we will be able to become, in part we are already, uh, a reference in the innovation and sport uh, in innovation and in knowledge related to sport in the world. Barst Innovation Hub will make their ta its task with in, in five areas. Uh, some of them we have already been working on that. First one is sport medicine. The second is performance. The third is technology. The fourth is sports itself. And the fifth is uh, social areas. And in these five uh, areas, we have four aspects. First is, as we already said, acquired knowledge. If there is anywhere in the world that they have something we don't have, we need to go there and to get that knowledge. We need to be humble and, and go to where the best they are and get that knowledge. Second, we, the, no, we cannot find the knowledge anywhere, we will generate it, and we are doing, we are already doing that. We generate the knowledge with our critical mass in, in different areas, with our professionals and with our sport uh, athletes. Third, we disseminate and we, we share this knowledge, sometimes for free, when, let's say, imagine a sudden death uh, guidelines. So we will share that with anyone. And other times we will share it in masters and, and in courses with our universities. And fourth, as much as possible, we'll try to transfer and to make innovation with this knowledge into clinical guide, guides, for example, or into devices or, or services that eventually will also benefit the population, the general population. We are working uh, with three different types of, of institutions. We are working directly with universities. We're working with technological centers, or we are working directly with companies. So for example, uh, universities where we have uh, uh, alliances and, and, and collaborative, collaborative projects with uh, the University of Pekin, uh, Pekin with a, a business school uh, that there is there, the Wanhua School. Uh, with uh, Universidad Siglo XXI, that we will arrive to many uh, students worldwide with, through um, uh, online uh, masters of different areas. We are working with uh, Johan Cruyff Institute in, um, in business and in sport and football, um, with ISDE and Columbia University in sport law, uh, Universidad de Barcelona, uh, Blanquerna, uh, INEF, and also we are organizing symposiums and, and scientific uh, meetings that are already a reference. For example, the Muscle Tech Network that we deal with regenerative medicine in muscle and tendon. It's been the eighth edition and experts from all the world gets together and it's uh, saved the date every year. Also, we are becoming a reference in uh, 
symposium of technology related to sport, bo both uh, related to sport analytics and both to fan engagement. And despite that it's been only two editions, it's already uh, saved the date for the next year. So it's a reference and uh, experts also from all around the world come. And also we do alliances directly with companies like Gatorade or Toshiba. With Gatorade, we, are, we have a lab that we analyze how individually, how the, how the every single sport uh, athlete deals with hydration, sweat, how they burn hydrates or how they burn fat. So we can individualize the supplements, uh, both uh, uh, hydration or, or solid supplements. And for example, with Toshiba, we have a, a research line with a very high resolution uh, magnetic resonance that, that many hospitals still don't have.